Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great 2023, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that is not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. And what we're going to be doing out here today, folks, in the second segment, we're going to be doing a tribute to our Targa, Mr. Bud Rolfs. Bud passed away September 10th. We'll get into that on the second segment, and this would be his card. Because guess what? You know, what you will, what will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. And that's what Bud Rolfs did every single day here, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 361, Nasdaq's up 267, S&Ps are up 67. Gold, gold contract up $7.50, traded at 1823 an ounce. We have silver up 32 cents, 24 dollars 16 cents an ounce. Light sweet crew down 63 cents, 78 dollars 33 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note up six ticks, trading 112.12. The 30 year up 17 at 125.14. And King Dollar, King Dollar is down a 570 ticks, trading 103.894. Euro is at 106. Yen is at 133.01. And the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a nice little relief rally out here. You're not going to have volume behind the deal, but we'll see where this shakes out. You get the SPs right now up seven. They're back on the not side of the B point. The B point on the SPs is 381.04, but bottom line, folks, is that you have an ABC down. On the daily, as you do on the monthly. So I suspect we're going to be right back downtown. We're going into 100 million shares right now, and we're doing 45 million. We look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. What do you have inside the three Qs? Kind of the same type. Well, it is the same type of setup with even less volume. Uh, inside the Qs, the, the B point on the Qs, the, 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 it looks to me like the Qs can't even get to this particular point. So we'll see how this shakes out. The B point is 266.95. You know, we made it up here today to over at 267.40, and then you just start backing off. And we'll really see, uh, let me pull the Q futures up for a second, because I want to see how far, uh, what these futures are looking like as we come into the last 50 minutes of trading out here. So, now look at this. This is a classic, too, man. This is pretty amazing, actually. Watch this. You're watching Tiger TV. You see where it's coming into, man? It's coming to the downdraft of two days ago. That's all it, that's all it actually did. And that was when, basically, let's see, we opened Tuesday and just went down south. You know, so th that's a good retracement. There's no doubt about that. But you can see when you're looking at it, you know, you're, you're up higher. There's no volume up here. Bottom line is that my take dead cat bounce. Gold. We look at the gold contract out here. What do you have with gold? GC. GC. Um, it's pretty amazing that. Gold is not to the moon right now, folks, because it has a shot to go to the moon once again. Why? Because the dollar is at lows, and it can't do it. That's telling me flat out. You've heard me yapping this every day, man. <laughs> I just think it's going to get hit. Hey, we'll see where it shakes out. That's what makes a market. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, bottom line is that gold contracts coming into the last high, which is 160,000 contracts, and that high was 1841. And we made it to 1827 today. But guess what? A contraction is uh, pretty incredible. It's 99,000 contracts. Yesterday, uh, bottom line, we did 118,000. Now, what's going to be intriguing here is this, is that what we did have yesterday is this, is that you had the aspect of, let me go over to the dollar, because what, what you had is that the market was staying down yesterday, even with the dollar down, and then coming into the close, it started popping higher again. So this is going to be really wild watching this. You can see yesterday, we, you know, bottom line is that it was down, well, it was down at the open and went up all day. Today, it's been down all day until like five minutes ago. Because when I first did, you know, the, the first update, I was saying the dollar was 103,831. Now the, uh, let's say, no, 10, what's the low? 103, yeah, 831. Yeah, 103,929 now. It'll be, it's gonna be intriguing to see if, in fact, you know, we start moving higher. Okay, 
as we come into the close. The bottom line, though, you're not going to have volume out here at all. Some of the higher volume equities, now this is where this comes down. The biggest losers, folks, are the ones that have some juice today. But that's what happens in bear markets. You have Tesla up $7, you have Apple up $3.5, Amazon's up $2.50. You name it, they're up. Advanced Micro, up $2.40. Uh, let's see, NVIDIA is up $5.5. We'll stop bringing some of these up so you can take a look at them. Let me, stop, let me start with NVIDIA because what you'll be looking for here is do you have any juice behind the move? And there's, you know, NVIDIA right now, you have 27 million shares. You're going into 46 million. That's not even close. Let's go to Amazon. Let's take a look at Amazon. We take a look at Amazon. This is a little bit better setup, but it still doesn't have a lot of volume. The reason I say that's a better setup, when you bounce a little, Amazon's bounced along the bottom for five or six days. We go to, uh, let's go to Tesla, because the whole world is thinking that, no, no anyway, we, we'll see where this shakes out. Tesla, bottom line, you're coming into uh, 208 million, you're doing 186. Yeah, they're, 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 this, there's some juice in Tesla here. There's no doubt about that. And we know that, uh, you know, it did finish a full ABC structure down. Uh, more than an ABC. So we'll get intriguing. Like this is the first day of a bounce. The second day of a bounce is going to tell you a lot more about where Tesla wants to go. My take is we want to $69 and right now you're at 120 If we go to Apple and take a look at the same setup inside of Apple, what do you have in Apple? Uh, Apple's up in light volume. Apple uh, yesterday was down on uh, 85 million. Today you're up at 60 million. There's nothing here, man. There's just nothing. Uh, inside of Apple, uh, Microsoft. Let's do Microsoft because that's a leader inside the NDX 100, no doubt. We take a look at, uh, you know, you're up at 12 million, you're coming into 28 million, you know. So we have out here flat out is a bounce on light volume coming into the 2023, and I suspect that's about all we have. Uh, we're going to be coming up the next segment, so the, um, the, I'll just run you through the next segment. The next segment is Tommy and I, and we were doing uh, the Bull and Bear show in the morning. Our um, man, Mr. Bud Rolfs, called in as a surprise guest, and it was absolutely awesome. So I want everyone to hear Bud's voice, to enjoy it. So enjoy, you know, the next, uh, you know, segment. Stay right there, folks.